Welcome to the Breakfast Time Broadcast with Victory Igori Ogagbon. The BFT Broadcast is a platform where we share God's undiluted word with you every Monday. My name is Avicii Adesua Igori Ogagbon. Remember, His word is light. His word is a lamp to guide us from sleeping. Victory Igori Ogagbon, the Breakfast Time Broadcast Convener and your host, who, alongside other servants of God, will be sharing from her experience in a bit to help you become your very best before God and amongst men through the ministry of the Word of God. Let's thank Him for who He is, the exceptional King, the immortal, the invincible, the only wise God that does not need us to be the God that He is. Hallelujah. Be lifted up, be lifted up, oh God, be lifted up, for you are holy, righteous and worthy, oh God, be lifted Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast Time Broadcast, aka BFT. Happy New Week and a happy stress free week to you all in Jesus' awesome name. Yes, to all our returning subscribers, the Lord bless you. Thank you for returning. And we wish to know why you were not with us before. If there is anything we can amend, we trust God to help us. And to everyone stumbling on this video for the very first time, we say welcome. This is a platform where we share God's word every monday and every other time as the lord pleases and we have other servants of god from other denominations collaborating with us and we trust god uh for great harvest in the name of jesus we want to quickly also encourage you as our first timer you can also collaborate with us by subscribing to the youtube uh, page if you've not done so and also by sharing leaving your comments uh we want to know how you feel and more so, thumbs up when the message blesses you. And I quickly want to tell us our reality on this platform. Our reality here is that we are loved. No matter who doesn't like our face, no matter who doesn't love us, we are loved by God. We are valued. No matter who talks us down, we are valued. And point number three, we are special, very special to the heart of God. So we care we, 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 we care less about what others are saying. It is only what God says that keeps us moving. And finally, we are blessed by the Lord. And this is what we communicate to others because this is the life of Christ. So this is what we communicate. We want you to also communicate that to your neighborhood. Love, value, um, special, above all, you are blessed. So... Do that and the Lord will bless you. To all our breakfast family, you all are amazing. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. And I trust you all are holding on. The Bible makes us to understand that God will reward our deeds. The Lord will reward you all. Thank you for your prayers in Jesus' name. My name is Avitria Desuai Gori Oagmo. And by the short mercy of the Most High God, I am your host. And I trust God to help us again today without wasting much of our time shall we just say a word of prayer abba father we want to thank you specially for this privilege to be counted among the living yes to witness and enjoy your mercy thank you my father for sustaining us lord 
The psalmist said, we slept and woke up for the Lord sustained us. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for your word that is about to come again. Lord, we pray that you sanctify us by your word, for your word is truth. In the name of Jesus and above all, Lord, we ask for grace to hold this word and walk therein. In the name of Jesus, that others may see you in us. These are many more we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' awesome name, amen and amen. Yes, we started a wonderful topic titled Harvest. So we are looking at harvest. We are looking at the rewards of your doings. Hallelujah. At the end of all your labor, there is a harvest. There is a time where you enjoy. Hallelujah. And when we look at harvest, there are things to consider. We consider your seed, the land, your dedication towards that plant, and God's factor. I remember I was privileged to be with my sister in Germany. She has a, a, a big garden behind the house. And uh, it's, it's so amazing that fateful day I was with her when we were planting maize. You know, I saw how we planted. And after a while, uh, she went about. After a long while, she went about. I would see her with her kettles. And she carries the kettle watering the, uh, the garden. She had different types of plants. You know, they have, some of them are really grown plants. And I see how she puts a lot of things. I say, what's this? Is it this are to chase away the birds? What is this? What is this? So she takes care of that uh, garden. And that, that uh, experience made me to understand when we talk about harvest. And I remember there are times she just go to the uh, to the garden and she begins to, I say, ah, auntie, what do you want me to do? He said, take away this tiny, tiny weed. So we begin to use our hand to uproot. What does she want? She wants a very good harvest. So I want us to quickly look at the book of Matthew chapter number 13 and 4 to uh, 8. Hallelujah. Matthew 13, 4 to 8. Just because of our time, I will just tell us as a story. It is a parable work that Jesus was telling us. How a certain sower went about, please, if you have time, read that portion. How a certain sower went to sow a seed. He said, and some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air devour that seed. And another time again, this same sower didn't give up. He went again, and he went to sow. He said, some fell on the stony ground. And because there were little earth on it, he said, it, it, it sprang up so quickly. And when you look at verse 6, he said, when the sun came up so hot, that seed, that seed, died because why it was not deeply rooted and the number uh, the third seed he went and sowed it he sowed it among the tongues he didn't know that place was a tongues but when he sowed it there were tongues that they choke up the seed and it did not grow it did not grow at all and when you look at chapter num uh, verse number eight i beg your pardon matthew 13 8 he said another one fell and this one fell in a good ground and god what did god do the bible say in that good ground it produced well. And he said, you know, the mystery in this place, the first seed, he said, it came out a hundredfold, the second one, a sixtyfold, and the third one, a thirtyfold, in one same land. And let us look at Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. He said, and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Permit me today, I want to talk about be determined. If you need an harvest, we must be determined. Like this parable of the sower. This man went out with the intention to sow. With the intention to sow. And as he was sowing, some fell down. He didn't intentionally throw it down. Some fell down and it was devoured. And one of the things I love about this farmer, he never gave up. The second one he saw, and the Bible said it fell on the ground, but the ground was not too good. Not that he intentionally want to waste his seed. I've heard ministers say these are waste of resources, waste of this. But do you know when he got to the third ground? That is where the book of Romans chapter 2 verse number 6 comes in. Romans 2 6 says, who will, reward, who will render to every man according to his deeds? God sees and knows your deeds. He knows all that you do in his name. He knows what you do. And when you look at verse number 8 of Matthew 13, the Bible makes us to understand. One came out a hundredfold. Another one came out a sixtyfold. Another one came out a thirtyfold. What was God? What did God do there? God made up for him all his loss. 
God made it up for him. Today, I came to encourage you, child of God. I don't know where you've been sowing. I don't know how about that seed. I don't know how the seed is growing. But I want you to understand. Be determined. Just imagine if the man has given up when the bed ate it, when the sun scorched it, when it was amongst the tongues. He wouldn't have been able to get to that bountiful harvest that the Lord has prepared for him. I tell you, the Lord has harvest for every laborer, every laborer, whether believer or non-believer. The Lord have harvest. Harvest is prepared because the Bible calls him the God of harvest. Harvest is prepared. So whatsoever you are planting, I want you to know that there is a harvest. So don't give up. Be determined as long as you are led to, to, to plant. I don't know probably you are planting in the lives of men. Probably you are investing in that family. Probably you are investing in that relationship. Probably whatsoever the Lord has led you, as long as you are led by the Lord to keep to keep persisting i tell you it's going to come out glorious let's take again another wonderful story quickly we saw the book of genesis 26 how is he planted how is he planted isaac has been a farmer the day he planted and reaped those plenty food was not the first day of planting he has been planting because the thing didn't grow well because they were farming in the land he wanted to move, but the Lord says stay. And when he planted again, the Lord gave him, made up all, made up for him all his loss, everything he has lost. Look at the issue of wealth. As he began to dig, the people take. He didn't give up. He kept digging. He kept digging until he gets to his royal boat. Dear friends, don't be tired. Don't be weary. Don't be weary. The Lord knows. The Lord will reward everything you have done in the name of the Lord. Even if the one you show to your flesh, there is also a consequence. But I want you to be encouraged that the Lord will render to every man according to his deeds. Probably you are a preacher like me. And it's like the, the, what you are sowing is not growing. Be, be, be patient. There are some, you know, you can't compare maize. And, uh, and a mango tree. There are some seeds that some of us are sowing that are for transgenerational harvest that your children, 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 children will reap from it. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to stay determined. I want you to stay committed to that seed. Yes, go around like my sister. Water them, take away the weed, set everything that you need to set in place so that the best doesn't devoid. Put everything in place within your human ability and let God take the rest. And I tell you, you will smile at the end in the name of Jesus. But before I let you go, I want you, I want to invite you to join us on our Facebook page for our Bible study tomorrow. And I know the Lord is going to bless you. So as you go through this month, uh, through this week, be determined. Whatsoever you're doing, don't uh, the outcome, don't let it distract you. Don't let the outcome distract you. Keep on. Quit us. Never win. It's only those that persist. That win, hallelujah. So have a wonderful time until I come your way. My name's remain future. This is why I go your Jesus loves you. Shalom. Hallelujah.